hey guys welcome back to another video so in the previous video what we learned about was the conditional rendering and we did some uh, work over these components so today moving further we would be learning more uh, over some of your basic stuff that are very much important as a part of your lightning web components so today we would be just working with your data how we could access those data and how we could uh, change make changes in that data okay so let's get started then guys i have created a uh, forms uh, uh, lightning web component named forms and in that what i want is i want an input type done is guys i have taken a lightning input three lightning inputs so let me explain you what have i done is the type for this is input type is text the variant is standard and the name just defines the name and this is the label that we would be seeing uh, on our page and this would be the placeholder type here or uh, in this you could do enter your name this things would be visible to you so let me make it beautify this as well so i am packaging all this into a div and this one and in my forms.css main container enter your name for example test so all things are getting entered but i want that i would be able to see those values so what i would be doing is i would be creating three variables name email password and over these lightning inputs what i would be doing i would be i want a on change listener because on these things i am changing my value so on change property would be and this handle change i have kept in the curly braces because i want uh, to uh, have it in my javascript so same in here
are get dot name okay so what it would give is see if i would go on the name field so it would uh, be uh, printing this name and in if i am writing in my email field so it would print email and for the password it would uh, print on this password let me show you actually my machine is a little bit slow that's why i have to uh, edit this page else while for you guys if you are having a, a good machine you uh, could directly refresh and your changes would be saved see in my name i am typing so see name has been clicked uh, email and password see so it is giving me these names okay and if i write even dot target dot value so it would be giving me the value over these uh, targets uh, let me show you test email value password so see it is printing the values but i want I want all these values in my these three variables. So what I have, I, what needs to be done is, let me say I am having a const result res variable that would be giving me even dot target dot name. So what it would give is, uh, it would give me name uh, for the first input, email for the second, and password for the third one so i would be doing is if your res that is even dot target dot name is equal to is equal to name uh, so what i would do is uh, how to refer uh, the name in here is this dot name is equal to uh, event dot target dot value okay if this result uh, matches with uh, the name that is this value and this value is uh, our same so we would be doing that in this name this value should be stored and if your res is equal to is equal to email uh, this dot uh, email is equal to even dot target dot email uh, sorry even dot target dot it would be always value and if your result is equal to is equal to password so it would be this dot password is equal to event dot target dot value now what i want is i want to view them so i would be doing this model class and uh, in the p tag name is your name is and bind this variable with the name variable that we have uh, defined in here uh, p tag your email is and bind to the email tag your password is and bind to the password field save these changes and uh, what i want is i want this model to be a bit attractive so i would be doing background color uh no background color uh okay let us go with the basic approach only no background color nothing for now so let me go and check i don't need a debug uh, console open so let me remove this save the data and uh, 
uh, see uh, name email password and uh, name is ram email is ram at the rate gmail.com uh, so this is your password and if you do sham it would print uh, the name like this okay uh, so this is your uh, model so let me have this div uh, down here so that uh, this is uh, quite perfectly visible and see everything is coming over here but uh, guys do you think that uh, is this a good way uh, like uh, is this a good way that these values are coming beforehand we are typing anything uh, over here so what needs to be done is i want uh, something or a condition uh, where i cannot uh, i want that uh, like a submit form so uh, let me take a button and the variance variant would be success that would be a green button and the title would be submit form and in here what i would be doing is uh, uh, i would be taking a value uh, I would be taking a variable that would be uh, show result is equal to false and in my handle click what I would be doing is uh, I would be doing this dot show result would be true and uh, this class was model class and I would be doing if true the conditional rendering that would be a show result and let me style this class a bit no need for margin padding would work for us in this case so styling is all up to you i'm just giving you all an idea that how our things could go so uh, okay okay the label uh, should be submit form so enter your name Programming made easy. Hello at the rate in gmail.com and in the password I am putting some random value. So whenever I click on this submit form, see your name is this, uh, email is this, and your password is this. Uh, so here uh, you could see how these things look like, and even you could uh, change the position. Uh, using your CSS like uh, styling on uh, this thing into something very good so all that depends upon you